What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to simplify complex fractions and we're going to use the order of operations to do that. So as you can see we have this ugly looking fraction here, right? Complex fraction. So how do you even start simplifying this? Well one thing you're always going to start with is this fraction bar right here is basically separating two different math problems, okay? So we're going to simplify two different math problems. We're going to simplify this one as much as we can and we're gonna simplify this one as much as we can, okay? Once we've done that, at the very end, we're gonna try and combine the two somehow, okay? But until that point, make sure you keep it separate. Literally think of it as two different math problems. Okay, so let's start simplifying this thing. And I'll put my fraction bar right there to keep it separate. Okay, so let's start with the top. Here we have one third raised to the second power. So how do we start simplifying that? Well, we're gonna to go to our order of operations. And in case you don't remember, I wrote it up here, which is PEMDIS. And it stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication or division, addition or subtraction, okay? And you always start with parentheses and you just work your way down the list that way, okay? So looking at the top of our problem here, one third raised to the second power. We're gonna to go to our order of operations and ask ourselves, okay, do we have any parentheses? Uh, well, yes, we do. We have parentheses right here, right? So that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna simplify whatever's inside of the parentheses first. So inside of the parentheses, we have one over three. Can we simplify that anymore? Well, in this case, no, we can't, okay? Because one third is just a number. That's as simplified as it can get. So that means we're done with the parentheses. Now let's go to exponents. Do we have any exponents here? Yes, we do, we have a two right here, right? So how do you apply an exponent to a fraction? Well, you apply it to the top number and to the bottom number. So let me rewrite it here. So now we actually have one squared over three squared. Okay, so now I've simplified the top a little bit, right? So now let's also, at the same time, do the bottom one. On the bottom, we have two cubed plus two. Okay, so how do we start simplifying that? Well, again, we're gonna to go to the order of operations and start with P, parentheses, right? And you're just gonna ask yourself, do I have parentheses here? Uh, well, down here, I don't. So done with that one. Let's go to the next one. Exponents, okay, do we have any exponents down here? Yes, we do. We have this three right here, right? What is two cubed? Well, that's the same thing as two times two times two, which is equal to eight. So we simplified the exponent. So let's bring the rest of our problem over this plus two part. Okay, so you can see I've simplified the top and the bottom, but I can keep simplifying them, right? There's still more work to do. So on top, we have one squared over three squared. What does that simplify to? Well, one squared simplifies to one, and then that's gonna be over, over three squared. What's three squared? Nine, okay? So now here we just have one over nine. Okay, now let's go back to the bottom. Here we have eight plus two. Can we simplify that? Yes, we can. What's eight plus two? 10. Okay, now let's look at this whole fraction over here. Okay, so on top we have one over nine. Can we simplify that anymore? Well, no, we can't because one ninth is just a number, okay? Now let's go to the bottom. Down here we just have 10, right? Can we simplify 10 anymore? No, because 10 is just a number. Okay, so now that the top over here and the bottom are both as simplified as possible, now we can start combining it. Okay, so this is just one big fraction now. So on top, in our numerator, we have 1 ninth, and that's divided by 10, okay? So I'm gonna rewrite that as just a normal division problem. So our numerator, 1 ninth, divided by, divided by the denominator, 10. Okay, so here I have a fraction, 1 ninth, divided by a whole number, 10. Okay, so how do you solve that? Well, the first thing you have to do is change that whole number into a fraction. So how do you turn a whole number into a fraction? All you have to do is put it over one, okay? Because 10 over one is the same thing as 10 divided by one, right? And what's 10 divided by one? It's just 10. Okay, so now we have a fraction divided by a fraction. How do you solve that? Well, a useful little acronym to remember is KFC. And this stands for keep 
flip change. K, F, C. So how does that apply to our division problem? Okay, so we're going to write it out. K means keep this first fraction as it is. Okay, so when we're writing this out, 1 ninth is going to stay as 1 ninth. Okay, and then after that, we're going to flip this second fraction. So 10 over 1 is going to turn into 1 over 10. Okay, and then lastly, C stands for change your sign. So instead of dividing here, we're going to multiply. Okay, so now we just have 1 ninth times 1 tenth. So how do you multiply fractions? All you have to do is multiply straight across. Okay, so what's 1 times 1? Well, that's equal to 1, right? So that's your numerator. And then in the denominator, we have 9 times 10, right? What's 9 times 10? 90, okay? So your final answer is 1 over 90. All right, guys, so that's how you simplify complex fractions using the order of operations. I hope the example was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And if you still have any questions or want to see any other examples, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.